Hi everybody, Kenny Treasure Hunter here. I'm going to show you how to clean artifacts, rusty metal artifacts, old bottles that have rust on them, uh, bottles found in the ocean that have barnacles, uh, all types of brass, coins, whatever. Uh, uh, coins are found in the ocean that got uh, coral sea life on there which you can't clean, you can't tumble. Electrolysis even doesn't really work. Well, I'll show you uh, what to do. You just get plain muriatic acid. Muriatic acid you can get in your hardware store. They use it for cleaning pools, the rust, uh, rust stains on the concrete. Uh, bricklayers use it when they do brick work and uh, they have um, mortar staining uh, the bricks, cleans the bricks, run about a 50 50 mixture. Works really good, but holds it off really good, real fast. Don't let it sit too long, otherwise, it does uh, somewhat uh, deteriorate the concrete a little bit. Depends on how strong the mixture is. If you want to go maybe a 30% muriatic acid, 70% water, it's probably a little better, it takes a little longer. What I got here is about a 60% uh, muriatic, 40% water. I got to neutralize it, we use baking soda. Any type of baking soda works fine. Uh, when, you, when you put your stuff on electrolysis, the baking soda will neutralize the acid so it won't continue rusting or any other effects. It's very important any type of metal objects you have to use the baking soda after. These are some of the objects I'm going to try. I got a penny that's crusted with sea life. Another penny here, uh, I can't even tell what kind of penny it is. It's encrusted, I got some rusty objects. Some coins that are probably copper or brass. They got some rust on there. These came off a tumbler, so I couldn't tumble it off. As you can see, the tumbler never cleaned it. Here's a rusty coin and so on, a couple of spikes. So what you need, uh, you'll need some muriatic acid. You need a couple containers, depends on the size of the objects you're using. I am just made a small demonstration here so that you uh, can determine the size of objects, the size of, of the mixture and all that yourself, depending on what the object you're trying to clean. Uh, you need a couple latex gloves, surgical type that are acid proof. Uh, Muriatic cast, like I say, it's uh, not super corrosive. Um, it does burn, it could burn you a little bit, but when you have it diluted, it's not so bad. If you're using other acids, it's very dangerous, but either way, you want to protect yourself. You should have eye, eye protection, a good pair of rubber gloves, and like I say, you should go from acid into your clean, clean water, your baking soda right after, or you could go clean water and let it soak for a little bit, then go into baking soda later. Anyway, so I'll show you this is a coin here that was found in uh, the Bahamas. See, as you can see the action there, it's continuously, uh, it's totally dissolving that uh, mineral life there from the uh, coral and all that. So, yeah, another one here. I'll show you uh, another coin. As you can see, the effects are working. Don't want to breathe the fumes in. Muriatic acid is dangerous. Um, I, you remember, I, I have a very uh, a low mixture here. You could use pure acid to get better results. As you can see, the corrosion coming off that coin. Very good. Pull the rest of the coins in here. Just get them in there anyways. As you can see, more corrosion, more rust, the more reaction. So I'll let them sit there for about, you know, maybe for a minute or so, a couple minutes, we'll see. Uh, usually uh, they'll stop bubbling and you'll know the process is almost ready. Uh, the acid may be a little bit weak. Uh, usually the rusty material will come off faster. But as you can see, it's the coral life is dissolving really good. We get uh, one of these spikes here. Throw it in there. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit too diluted, I think. Uh, I think it could be better if we had a stronger mixture, but anyways, the artifact's barely fitting in there. But as you can see, the coral life has all disappeared. Uh, there's one that was heavily corroded, it's still uh, bubbling there. To stand by, I'm gonna, gonna make another solution here in a second here. Make it just a little bit stronger. So stand by. Yeah, I'm back again here. I actually made a little stronger mix. I'm using Pure aromatic acid works really good, but you just kind of keep the items in there super long. You just have to kind of uh, watch the stuff, the process. 
And as you can see, most of the coins are really clean already. They're all clean. You, know, you can do a little slight scrubbing if you had to get the rest of the rust off, but you can see uh, it's just uh, it was working fine. I got the big spike in there. Uh, it's heavily corroded, uh, full of rust. It's going to be um, take a little while there. Like I say, uh, you got to be careful when uh, using pure erratic acid fumes. You don't want to breathe fumes in, they're really dangerous. It's going to burn your lungs. So, anyways, you can clean, like I say, you can clean a lot of items there. Uh, grout on tiles, like if you have antique bottles and rust stains, you can't scrape those stains off. You have to put in muriatic acid. You dip your bottle in muriatic acid, wait a few minutes, use a, a scrub pad, bottles come out like brand new. Same with if you have uh, stained uh, pottery, like uh, ceramic ware that's stained, you dig in the ground, it's full of rust. You can use pure muriatic acid, not dirty but pure. Let it soak in there until the rust. So, uh, just dissolves or disappears then let it sit in uh, fresh water for like a day and then put it in a lukewarm a baking soda the baking soda will neutralize that acid so you won't have any issues later you can keep complete the process over and over uh, you can add a acid then may you want to neutralize it then use it in pure bleach and then neutralize it again with baking soda vice versa but don't mix the two items in the same material. It's got to be separate. It can cause gases. Also, uh, if you dig uh, or you, you dive for bottles and you get uh, barnacles on your bottles or any type of sea life, this will dissolve it all. Uh, it just dissolves it really nice. Uh, you have to experiment yourself. I mean, um, some some metals are uh, like brass, copper cleans up really quick, real fast. You just gotta be careful that you don't leave them too long because it may pit the item. So don't use uh, extremely valuable items at the start until you know what you're doing, until you have the right mixture. If you're using uh, copper items, I'll just go like a half and half mixture and just let it sit over time. And after you uh, neutralize the baking soda, put in olive oil, let it soak in olive oil for a few days and it'll lubricate the material really nice. So all you need is granite acid, you can get it at any hardware store. A couple of containers to fit your items. I'll show you a few still pictures later after. And a couple of gloves, glasses. Uh, respirators, you know, a little expensive, but as long as you're doing it outdoors, don't do it inside. It should be no problem. Yeah, I just let it soak there for about. Uh, uh, that spike was only hood soaking for about five minutes there. I just wanted to show you. Uh, I'm not too keen on uh, preserving a spike, to be honest, but you can see as it's cleaning. See the rust is dissolving quite a bit. All you have to do is leave it in longer in a bigger container. I just use uh, did use pure muriatic acid and just um, you know this acid is not going to dissolve this type of metal. It's too thick. It's too strong. Uh, aluminum could be a little different story uh, if it's corroded, um, you know. But like this type of material, you can leave it in there. I would have left it in there for about an hour, and this uh, would have came out really clean looking. Even if you put electrolysis on this, the pitting's there no matter what. You can't get rid of pitting. The pitting is a natural rusting process, right? But you could have got this uh, spike really clean. Then you would have put in baking soda. Then you would put it in an olive oil to preserve it. And it would have been a really nice looking spike. It would look a lot nicer. It wouldn't be so crusted like this. But as you can see, it is starting to work. Uh, these are the coins. All the coins are free of uh, any uh, ocean ocean uh, stuff like barnacles or coral uh, that coin here with the black that's the tarnish now if you put this back in a tumbler all these coins would shine up a lot nicer a little example on what you can do is uh, you know if you don't want to do the trellis all the time or if it doesn't work Muratic acid does wonders on a lot of artifacts thanks again all the best Canadian treasure hunter